guys, Stillzilla64 back with a new video for you, and also making my doggy very scared for no reason. And this is a review of the JG SL8. Nothing special here. It's basically a full stock G36 variant. The original gun's a sniper rifle, but this is based off of JG's design, so it's basically just a G36 with a nice full stock and a cheek riser. Also, the gun comes with just the standard thick outer barrel and it doesn't have any threading under it it's just a big orange plug the person that owns this gun put it in a flecktarn wrap just like a standard tape they did that themselves but also it will not come with the scope cover that's just there for the red dot this does not come with it either this is a separate entity it comes with a scope this is a three times scope the reticle on it is a little screwy and you have to adjust it on the inside you can turn that and also there's a height and angle adjustments there so the scope is pretty decent it will come with pistol sight rail right through the top here and this is just a standard 20 millimeter rail and it fits his red dot sight I'll do a separate review on the dot sight if anybody really wants it it also comes with with uh, buttstock extensions he has three of them on here I believe and it comes with five of them it standardly comes with two on it and it comes with three extras that you can put on yourself the gun itself will come with one 20 round magazine. I've heard bad things about these mags, but then I've never really had to use it, so I'm not sure. I've heard just misfeeding issues, but if I was anybody, I would just suggest to go for either the Ares 50 round mid caps, which are the same size as those, or to slap a full high cap in there. Just one will definitely, if you're done and use this as a sniper roll, this gun's definitely very going to last you with a high cap. Or you can get also mid cap versions of the standard G36 magazine. Now, it also comes with a bipod. This bipod gives you a lot of play in it, so it's easily it's easily usable. And also this does fit Beta C mags, drum magazines, and it is a full plastic gun. It comes in a nice finish. You can't really tell from this, but if you reference my MG36 review or the G36E, the full length version of this, of the G36 series, you can see the finish of it there. Now this is just your standard G36 hop up. Nothing exciting there. It's a plastic unit. This is a full metal version 3 gearbox. And also it will come with a standard wall charger and a cheap 8.4 volt 1500 milliamp, 1400 milliamp battery. Those are pretty much junk. You might as well buy something separate. This person bought a 9.6 volt intellect battery which does very well in these in these G36's I believe. But also you can run 7.4 volt LiPo through it. But that's the gun itself. We're going to take it outside and we're going to go ahead and shoot it. Alright, here's the cans. These are used with 0.2 gram BBs. Didn't really shred them or anything, just shot into them. They penetrated very easily. And there is the poor man's chrono. It doesn't penetrate, but it almost does, so it's definitely around the 350 mark. I mean, standardly, that's what to expect from this gun. Alright, we'll take it back inside and we'll finish up the review. Alright, guys, finishing up the review on the JG SL8. As you saw, the can shoots around 350. Decent power. Does what it needs to do. This gun will cost you around $200, I believe, from websites like Airsplat, Airsoft Megastore, eVike.com, Airsoft GI, I don't believe carries JG G36s because of licensing issues, which these JGs are pretty good quality. They're good starter AEGs. I mean, the SLA, you're not going to find another one with a full stock for this price. The external quality is decent. It's definitely good enough. Like I said before, it will only come with a low-cap mag. A little bit of a drawback, but if you're not a starter, it doesn't bother you. You might just have to buy some extra mags. Like I said before, definitely order another battery with it. If you find it at the right price, you can get it for around $150 with some good discount codes. But that's it. Decent quality gun. It's Toadzilla64, and I will see you guys in my next video.